Today's video is going to be another round of empties, and of course I will give you a mini review on everything that I've used up, let you know if I would repurchase it again or not. I also have one item that was just the pits for me that I am tossing, so I will tell you about that. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to start with the two items that I am most excited about finishing up, and I'm excited because I've had them for literally two years, and I know that's probably disgusting and they probably expired, honestly, but... It, it happened. The first one is my MAC paint pot in Painterly. I have finally finished this and this is really good stuff. I really liked it. It just makes a great base. Hello kitty cat. Makes a really great base for your shadows. It helps your eyeshadow to stay put and it does not crease. I really love it. I would repurchase it. I'm just not going to go get it right away because I have a lot of primers that I need to use up first. I also finished my Black Track Fluid Line from MAC. There is a bit left on the inner part there, but it's just dried out, so I can't use it anymore. This was excellent as well. Really good quality. It has great staying power. It's nice and dark, and it lasts a long time. I just prefer a felt tip liner when I'm applying uh, eyeliner. I just find it easier for me personally, but if you are a fan of gel liners, MAC's Black Track Fluid Line is excellent. Excellent. Two drugstore concealers. The first one is my Holy Grail drugstore concealer. It's the Maybelline New York Fit Concealer. Love this. I use the shade Light, no, Fair, 15 Fair. And I always go with a concealer for my under eye area that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone because I like to double it up as a highlight as well. Love it and I've already repurchased it, but I do also really like the MAC Pro Longwear concealer as well. So if you're looking for a high end MAC Pro Longwear drugstore, definitely love this one. I also finished, well, I'm not going to lie, there's still some left, but I just can't, can't use it anymore. This is the Almay Smart Shade Anti-Aging Concealer. I got number 10. Again, it's light. It does have SPF, which is nice. The thing about this is that it is one of those, like, magical smart shade formulas. So you put it on your skin, and then you rub it until it kind of turns to the color of your skin tone. Before I was a little bit more tanned, which is sad, I know, because I'm still not really tan, but I'm definitely darker than I usually am, this did match my skin color, but I had to rub it and rub it and rub it and rub it until I basically rubbed the product off for it to turn the color that I wanted it to to conceal whatever I was trying to conceal. So honestly, I just felt like I was wasting far too much product and it just wasn't worth it. So I would not repurchase it because it was just too much work to try and get the color right when I could just use my Maybelline Fit and, you know, not have to waste a lot of product. So this wasn't really a hit with me, but I don't know. Let me know if you guys have tried it because I'd like to know your opinions. I have two packs of makeup wipes. Of course, my Holy Grail Soap and Glory Off Your Face Makeup Wipes. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite makeup wipes. I have the perfect amount of moisture to take off your makeup. Um, you can get most of it off with one of these unless you've got like a really heavy face load to makeup on. I would seriously only use these if I didn't have such a hard time finding them at my drugstore because they always sell out. So when I went and they sold out, I ended up trying the Neutrogena Oil-Free Cleansing Wipes in Pink Grapefruit. I really couldn't stand these and I'm trying not to gag right now because I can still smell them and that is what really bothered me about these. I like the smell of pink grapefruit if it's like a natural nice pink grapefruit, but this smelled kind of like armpits. The smell just lingers, so I would wipe off my makeup and then I could just smell them and smell it. I can still, I need to just throw them away because yeah. I had used one to take off my makeup one night and my husband was like, what's that smell? And I was like, oh, just my face. Gross. Fail. Finished up my Biore 4-in-1 cleanser. I've used this for literally years and it has done great things for my skin. However, Recently, I've been having more oil issues. Ever since I had my daughter, just my skin hasn't really gotten back to where it once was, so I kind of just overhauled my entire skincare routine. So right now, I'm using a Bosha cleanser, which I really like, um, so I'm gonna stick with that for a while. But I definitely would still recommend this, because like I said, it has done great things for me in the past. I just feel like my skin is changing, and I need to just switch things up. This I am so sad about. This is my Tarte Emphasize inner rim brightener. I talked about this in a couple videos. It's completely gone, but it's just the perfect inner rim liner. It's just a beautiful, really creamy nude liner that helps your eyes to look more bright and awake, and I just, I love it. 
<sighs> I'm gonna repurchase it. It sucks because it's like 26 bucks or something like that, but I think it's worth it because I haven't found a dupe. And if you guys know of a dupe, let me know, but yeah. It's good and it's one of those high-end products that personally I think it's worth the money, so I will repurchase this. So I finished up a lip gloss from MAC and this was a limited edition so I won't get too into it because it's not available, but it was really pretty. It's called Budding Love and it's just kind of like a lilac-y, lilac, lilac-y. And my husband actually complimented me on this a few times. It's one of the lip glosses. It has a little bit of shimmer. I really liked it and if they re-released it, I would rebuy it. So I finished up this lip gloss. Um, from Benefit. It's called Foxy Lady. It's one of their Ultra Shines. And this I actually bought in a set that came out at Christmas two years ago. So, I mean, I could probably scrape a little bit more out, but it's just kind of become gummy, you know? Like, things, things do expire, and I think that you do need to go through your makeup collection every now and then and be like, okay, this, this guy has run his course. Also finished up my Deep Steep Body Wash. This came in a Seasons box. I got Lavender Chamomile. It's got Aloe Vera Shea Butter. It is so nice. I love, oh, I love the smell of it. It just made me feel like I was in a spa when I took a shower and used this. It was great. It was hydrating, and I would definitely, definitely rebuy this. Also finished up my The Balm Schwing Eyeliner. I feel like I've had this for a really long time. It lasted me for a very long time. And it now has teeth marks on it because I was trying to like uh, basically dried shot. So I don't know. I definitely got my use out of it. I would repurchase it if it went back on hot look because they often do like 50% off or 40% off um, the bomb products there. And that's where I got this one. So if it goes back on hot look, I would definitely do it again. It's got a great felt tip um, applicator, which I love. And the staying power was excellent. So I would definitely recommend this if you like a felt tip liner. Finished up the Desert Essence Coconut Shampoo and Conditioner, and this is for dry hair, which my hair, especially before I cut three inches off of it, was quite dry. So this actually, I feel like, has put a little moisture back into my hair. Some people really don't like this, others rave about it, and I think it just comes down to your hair type. My friend Melanie, or Mr. Kong's mom here on YouTube, she has a review on it, and she does not like it, and she felt like it kind of made her hair flat. So I feel like if you've got hair that's more coarse and dry like mine. That sounds so nice, like, oh, my <laughs> beautiful, coarse, dry hair. My hair that's a little bit more coarse, I feel like this might be a little bit more taming. And I did like it, and I have already repurchased it. Also, it's cruelty-free, vegan, wheat and gluten-free, no parabens, no silicones, no petroleum-based ingredients. You know, it's, it's full of good stuff, and I really did like it. Just tossing, because it really just did not work for me, and it is the Wet n Wild Mega Eyes Defining Marker. This was only like $3 or something like that, so it wasn't, you know, a huge loss, but it's just, well, you can see right now that the felt tip is almost just like fraying, and it actually like scratched my eye a bit when I tried to apply it. It's off a little more pigmented on my hand than on my eyelid, but I took a picture of I always drop something in video. Make sure that I will insert for you guys of that liner next to my L'Oreal Carbon Black Linear Intense. And you can just to see the difference that one, and all I did was like take one swipe with both of them just to show you guys. Um, and you can just see that it's very, very faint and not very thick either. So it didn't work for me, but if it worked for you, I would love to hear that. Thank you guys for watching. Take care of each other, and I will see you all again really soon. Bye, guys.